Hey everyone, in this tutorial we're going to take a look at the new ActorCore 2.0 update, along with all of the improvements and additions to provide you with more high quality animation and character model assets for your production pipeline. All of these assets are optimized for quick export and use in other 3D tools. One of the first things you'll notice is that there are some quick filters along the sidebar, such as Latest, Free, and Categories, where you can click on the various themes to find the relevant assets. In this case, we have actors selected, so we're going through all the different actor theme types. At the top right, you'll find a Learn section that contains tutorials for all of the supported software, as well as an information icon that contains various subcategories where you can find help on any related topic. Of course, we also have the cart, and finally, you'll find your account icon at the far right, which contains info about your account and all of your assets. You'll find sections on the main Actor Core page for both packs and individual items as well. If you click on one of the packs, the pack info will pop up on the right. There are a ton of different packs available in Actor Core for both character models and motions. Once you have the pack's info up on the right, you can click on View Items to see all of the items included in that particular pack. From there, you can click on a single actor to find out more information on it. To go back to the main pack info, you can simply click on the eye icon at the top right. If you want to preview a character in the viewport and see it perform, then just click on Preview. Your character will appear in the preview window, and you'll find the standard camera controls at the bottom left. You can mouse over them to see what each one does, and also just click on the help icon. There's also an option to see the character with different light presets as well. If you mouse over the lighting icon, you'll see little preview windows appear, and you can select whichever one you want. There are also different preview motions that you can explore. The talk motion will allow you to see your character's facial animation in action. Each actor comes complete with PBR shaders, which come in handy particularly if you have reflective surfaces like shiny armor as part of your outfit. There are a wide variety of character types as well. You can find everything from realistic scanned characters to ones that are more stylized or tune-like. When you're previewing the motions, if your character leaves the preview window, like with this flying kick, then you can use the follow cam setting to ensure that the character stays focused in the camera view. In terms of motion preview, you can also mirror the motion as well by using the mirror option at the bottom right. Finally, you can also zero out the motion route in order to have the character remain stationary for the entire duration. In the Motion section of ActorCore, you'll find a huge collection of motion packs that are part of the Reillusion Motion Library. When you click on a pack, it will automatically open the preview video for that particular pack. At the sidebar, you can also filter your motions by different usages and different categories. In this case, I'm looking for a talking animation, so I can go into the Communication category to find a bunch of options under the Talk and Listen subcategory. Furthermore, you can also filter by the type of character at the top toolbar, with the options for man, woman, and child. You can choose all types of different motions focused on a specific character type by using the various filters. From there, you can select another similar character type to compare the results. Okay, once you're ready to purchase, you can click on the cart icon at the bottom right of each thumbnail to add that pack or item to your cart. Once you click on it, the cart icon will change to green, and you can go to your cart by clicking on the same icon again, or else going up to the icon at the top right. You'll see that there are three payment options. PayPal, credit or debit card, and DA points. One DA point equals one US dollar, and they are the safest and easiest way to make payments on ActorCore, Marketplace, and the Reillusion Content Store. You can find out more about this in the Learn More link.
Once you've purchased, you can download your assets to your inventory. You can select multiple items at once by using the multi-select toggle switch at the top. And after that, each item will appear in the download window. Please be aware that you cannot download a single item from a purchased pack. You'll need to download the entire pack at once. If you pick one item within the pack for download, it will automatically begin to download the entire pack. In this case, we've downloaded this good looking guy who is a scan actor that is not part of any pack in this case. In the pop-up window, you'll be prompted to choose a target application which will give your character the proper material and shader settings for that particular application. You can then choose your exported texture size and importantly you can also export all of the facial blend shapes with your character. If you choose not to, you can still enhance the performance a little as well as animate the eyes and the jaw. Finally, you can choose to embed textures which is not required for target applications like Unity or Unreal that have an auto setup feature. If you want to download an actor and motion simultaneously, then please go to the motion section of your inventory and select a motion you would like to include. Once you do that, you'll be prompted to choose a target rig to retarget that motion to. You can find your target character by going through the character categories at the top of the window. Keep in mind that if your motion is for a custom character created in another 3D tool, you'll want to choose either the male or female dummy character robots for the best result. The rest of the export options should be familiar. You can choose the target application and mirror or zero out the root of your animation. Again, mirroring will download the exact animation, just mirrored to the opposite side. While zeroing out the root of your animation will ensure that it remains stationary throughout the duration. If you change your mind and don't want to export the character along with your animation, then just select the Export Motion Only checkbox. Please note that you'll still need to choose a target body rig even when you do this. Finally, you're ready to download. Just go to Next here and ensure that you have the settings you want. Then click on Download. What you'll get is a folder containing a subfolder for the actor and another for the motion. In the actor folder, you'll find the main FBX file, your textures, as well as a JSON file that is used for auto setup to remap the textures. In the motion folder, you'll also find a main FBX file and a JSON file for the same purpose. To learn more about how you can use auto setup, you can simply go to Learn in the top toolbar and find a whole bunch of tutorials for a bunch of different target tools. You can also go to Supported Software to get detailed instructions with visuals on how you can use ActorCore with your favorite program. That's about all for this introduction to the new features of ActorCore 2.0. We hope you find it useful in your production pipeline and are looking forward to improving and expanding our offerings into the future. Please remember to visit our forums at forum.reillusion.com for more info and discussion about Reillusion software. And I'll see you in the next video.